And here we are at Pepcom at EFA 2013, and here is the MV Split X2. So this is a 13.3 inch Ultra Book, I guess, from HP. Now they call it the Split because it, well, splits. <laughs> uh, so let's take a look at the tablet here. I guess I didn't like that. Uh, it is running a Core i3, a U series there, but this is a third generation Core product, so that means it's going to be a little heavier than what we have to offer with Haswell. The display resolution is 1366 by 768 and if I hit this Windows, nothing happens. So how about if we do this? Alright, let's go over there. <laughs> so if we kind of go over, you see that this is Windows 8. The response of, of this display is pretty good. Uh, one of the things that uh, we weren't quite fond of, apparently doesn't like to switch, but if you can kind of tell in portrait mode, uh, it has a TFT display, so it's not the bestest on viewing angles like this. But the thing is, this is a 749 euros product, and if we dock it back in here, it has that kind of good HP solid build quality there with the, the lock and there are two batteries so uh, total together this should get you about eight hours so if we kind of close this up whoo, it's got some heft to it about 2.4 kilos so around the side here you'll see that we have a USB port I believe it is a uh, headphone jack over there here we have an SD card slot again at the top here this is the kind of the standard uh, HP mode for the volume rocker. Huge uh, battery bar over there. I almost dropped it, it's pretty heavy. Here we have the power button up here. Across the top we don't really have too much. Around the bottom, it's got some good little feet. Around the other side we have another USB, full size HDMI, and then there we have the PSU. So the battery, com or the, the battery combination on this, uh, what was it, about uh, 62 watt, hour. 62 watt hour so this is this is pretty heavy but I guess the the usage scenario is you, you have it at home you use it as a full laptop I mean it, it is a core i3 with four gigabytes of RAM uh, we have a 350 hard drive in the base and 64 gigs in the tablet part on top so I mean you do have enough for your general home user for all your files multimedia we have obviously a touch screen up here uh, very responsive uh, there's a full size trackpad down here which uh, there's very little click at the top lots of click on the bottom uh, I'm always hesitant around these kinds of things uh, when I don't really feel it click evenly but we'll see so far it seems seems pretty good uh, the keyboard does have a bit of bounce there a little bit of bounce but when we're typing in general it's a little flexy yeah I can't I can't deny it but uh, they do have full two full shift keys which I always love to see so again this has just been released here at uh, Pepcom or IFA 2013 coming in at six or 750 euros 13.3 inch for the price point I'd take it maybe I'm Nicole Scott for Mobile Geeks